Engine Assistant. Hi, my name is Timothy Tomlinson, your host for Precision Assistance. Today we're going to assist you in the HP 4000 and 4050 maintenance kit. Now at any point during this video, if you have any questions or if you'd like to purchase this kit and the tools required, please feel free to call us or visit us online at www.precisionroller.com. Keep watching because the best is yet to come. Included with the HP 4000 and 4050 maintenance kit is one new fuser assembly, six feed separation rollers, one manual pickup roller, one blue transfer roller removal tool, and one transfer roller. Tools needed in this guide are one Phillips screwdriver, one standard or flat blade screwdriver, one lint free cloth, and one pair of latex gloves. Installing the fuser assembly unit. First, turn the printer off and unplug the power cord. Caution, if you've been using the printer, the fuser section will be hot. Please wait 30 minutes before starting. Remove the two plastic duplexer connector covers. Pull the bottom edge out first. Next, open the rear output tray cover and carefully flex the plastic tray slightly with a standard screwdriver to remove one side and then remove the tray from the printer. Loosen the two fuser assembly screws. And then slide the fuser straight out. Make sure you clean any dirt or toner from the printer with a lint-free cloth. To install the replacement fuser, align the left side and then slide the fuser into the printer until fully seated. And then tighten the two screws. To reinstall the output tray cover, carefully flex the plastic tray slightly to slide one side into place and then flex the tray to fit the other side into place. Reinstall the two plastic duplexer connector covers. Installing the transfer roller. Looking at the front of the printer, open the top cover and remove the toner cartridge. Next, open the tray one and then use the hook end of the blue transfer roller removal tool provided in the kit. You will use this tool to hook under and carefully lift the left and right ends of the transfer roller up out of its retaining clips. Remove the transfer roller from the printer. Remove the plastic cover above the roller, marked by a number four in many models by pulling it straight out. Next, gently pry down on the blue tab on the pickup roller using a flat blade screwdriver to release the pickup roller. Then lift the roller up off its shaft and remove it from the printer. Make sure you clean any dirt or toner from the printer with a lint-free cloth. When installing the replacement pickup roller, make sure the blue tab is facing you. And then the pin is seated in the shaft. Then press the blue tab until it snaps. Replace the plastic cover above the roller, marked by a number four in many models, by sliding it into place. Please note, when handling the replacement transfer roller, do not touch the black roller surface. 
oil from the skin can adversely affect print quality. Handle the transfer roller by the ends or use latex gloves to keep the surface clean. On the gear end of the replacement transfer roller, there is a black plastic collar. Rotate this collar so the open end faces down and then install the new transfer roller into the printer with the gear towards the left. Press down on the roller until both ends snap into the clips. Reinstall the toner cartridge. Remove the paper tray from the printer and set it aside. Tilt the printer back or bring the printer forward to allow easy access to the underside of the printer paper tray bay. Next. Remove the feed roller by pinching the blue locking tab on the roller. Then slide it off the left end of the shaft. Make sure you clean any dirt or toner from the printer with a lint-free cloth. Note, the feed rollers and separation rollers on a LaserJet 4000 or a LaserJet 4050 series printer are identical. Each lower tray uses one feed roller and one separation roller. If you have one lower tray, you will use two rollers. Printer models that end in T, for example, 4000T or 4050T, came in with a built-in additional tray. These models with an additional add-on paper cassette will use four rollers. A 4000T or 4050T that also has an optional add-on lower cassette will use all six of the rollers provided in the kit. Slide the replacement roller into place. Installing the separation rollers and the paper cassettes. With the paper cassette halfway out of the printer, Remove the paper tray access panel by pressing the release tab towards the back end of the tray and then swinging the panel upward. Remove the separation roller by pinching the blue locking tab and then sliding the roller off the end of the shaft. Make sure you clean any dirt or toner from the printer with a lint-free cloth. Slide the replacement roller into place and then close the paper cassette drawer. Plug the power cord into the printer then resetting the printer's maintenance counter. After installing the maintenance kit parts you will need to reset the counter on your printer. 1. Turn the printer off. 2. Hold down the item key minus side of the button and the value key minus side of the button. Then turn the printer on. Wait for the reset maintenance count to be displayed and then release both of the keys. Thanks for watching this video on how to install an HP 4000 and 4050 maintenance kit. Now the kit itself and the tools that are required to install this kit are available through Precision Roller. You can call us or visit us online at www.precisionroller.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Precision Assistance.